Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour, and in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how you can take a folder of photos from your computer, upload them to your Google Photos account, and make an album that corresponds to the folder. Believe it or not, you can even do this after you have already uploaded all of your photos. Let me show you what I mean. First, let me show you Alice's Google Photos. So we are at photos.google.com and this is Alice's account. The most recent photos she has is from 2020. Then there are plenty of photos here, a few thousand. And we go all the way to the bottom, the most, the oldest photos are 2000. From January 1, 2000. And there are no albums. So that just gives you the idea of what's going on. On this computer, Alice has some photos that she wants in her Google account. And she has already put them into folders. So this folder has several pictures from 1966 Alaska, Canada. Let's put those in Google Photos and make an album called 1966 Alaska Canada. How do we do that? It's very easy to just drag and drop. The most important thing is to get your windows arranged so that you can see them right. So here is her Google Photos. I'm going to put her Google Photos full screen. Then I'm going to get her folder of photos that she wants uploaded and just put that on top. Now all you have to do is drag and drop. Just drag the folder over, drop it off, and it starts uploading the contents of that folder. There were just 11 pictures so it didn't take long. It said it couldn't un upload one item. You can view that, but it's always something that it was just not a picture. That was a DB file in that folder. So that's fine. We continue. Now, here's the key part. Since I uploaded it manually, when it finishes, it gives me the option to add to album. You click add to album, you make new album, and you give it a name and click the check mark to save it. So we now have an album, but these photos are stored in the library. Let me explain. If I go back out to the main library, the album is just a convenient way to look at these pictures all grouped together, but they are actually stored in the library. I can scroll down to 1966 and see all those photos in Alice's Google Photos library. Let's do another one. I'm going to try to just drag 1998 over and nothing happened. Why is that? Because 1998 doesn't actually have photos in it. 1998 has other folders with photos. So that's one of the points. You have to be dragging and dropping a folder with photos in it. So let's drag over Christmas and drop it off. 38 pictures in that one. Yes, I'll make an album. New album. Now you can see this is a fairly time-consuming process. So here's one way to speed it up. You don't have to wait for them to get uploaded. I can drag, and I, I know that Turkey Wedding and Wedding Party all have photos in them. So I can just drag Turkey over. I can drag Wedding over. I mean, I don't have to wait for the one to finish before doing the next one. Now when it asks me to add to an album, I'm not positive I know which they are, so you better be familiar with your photos. I can tell that this one is the wedding party. So I add to album and check mark. 
But now what's wrong? It didn't ask me about making an album out of the wedding or the turkey folders because I continued right on uploading the next one and it only asked me about the last one. Well, the photos from turkey and wedding did get uploaded. And then 1999 is the turkey pictures. So they all got uploaded, but it didn't stop to ask me about an album. Watch this. I can go back and redo it. I can say, upload the turkey pictures. Now, it'll look like it's doing it, but you'll notice that it goes a lot faster than the first time because it recognizes right away that, hey, these photos are already uploaded. I don't need to spend time to upload them, but at the end, it does offer to add them to an album. I'll do the same thing with the wedding. Basically, I'm pretending to upload them again, but it doesn't. It does not make duplicates. I'm doing it just to get that offer of making an album. So now I uploaded five different folders from this computer, and there are now five different albums corresponding to the folders.